What's up, y'all? Welcome back to The Blurred Girl Live. I'm Karen Mahorn, aka The Blurred Girl, and this is the first episode of the year and the first episode of season three. My guests tonight are Janicia Francis and Tanya DePass, aka Cypher of Tear. Um, we are, where are we now? I guess we are a day after MLK, a day before the inauguration, uh, a week after the capital attack and uh two hours away from my next drink so the new future state uh batman is black and they literally are in the future like way in the future They're, like old man right. superman is an old man clark is in this too um but you read it tell me what you thought i enjoyed it and even though i have read Batman comics and I, I know that he is part of the joke is that he is just a rich white guy I um, thought it was interesting that they open with him being dead as far as we know like that hadn't really crossed my mind that oh right he is he's gonna die you know what I mean like we've seen all the different iterations of him in the cartoons we've seen him as an old man we've seen him we've seen him as, as a younger person but yeah he's a guy he can die it's a wonder that he stayed alive all this time so i thought that was an interesting way to open um and then i really enjoyed because i i didn't i guess i didn't see it as two comics i just kind of continued in the book and continued it in the story i really enjoyed nubia and the world that she was in and the conversation that she was having with her aunt and um the way that they captured their facial expression as family and black women communicating with one another so i enjoyed it i enjoyed it oh here's the thing here's the thing i know i i am a i'm a big witcher fan and cd project red has had it has its issues and i was really not thrilled with that video they basically threw qa under the bus because there's always qa but the where qa folks are if their lead says here's your priority list these have to be fixed yeah we know about these bugs but this is what has to be fixed bare minimum for this game to ship mm -hmm. that's not their fault they are going here's 60 bugs and their leads may come back and go okay that's cool but these 20 are your priority so and i also know a lot of people who do q a they get thrown under the bus all the time for the state of a game because as we saw, the board of directors rushed that game out. They didn't care about anybody on a last-gen console. They were like, PC and next-gen. And thing is, it's not even next-gen is ready, but current last-gen is unplayable. So, basically, if you didn't, you weren't playing Cyberpunk on a PC, you were SOL. Yeah. And But I even heard there were some bugs on the PC side, too, but I guess not half as hefty as, as console. Well, I mean, um, they just flat out said that they didn't consider last gen as they were getting ready to release the game and there was all these delays there was still crunch and you know and that is a worst case this is a how not to release game example um i mean it is and you know full disclosure i did an activation with nvidia and you know playing cyberpunk for you know to show off all the pc stuff that you can do with an nvidia graphics card and at the end of the day, it's always going to be the executives. I think that should take the take the pounding on this because yeah. the QA, the person who's doing QA, is sitting in their cube farm for eight hours a day, twelve hours a day, however long it is. All they're they're like, hey, here's a bug, here you go, and then if they're a QA lead or senior QA, and they're they're getting it from their management up. Okay, here's a list of twenty bugs we have to fix. Really, fifteen. And those 15 you have to fix before this game ships. And honestly, it is a miracle we get video games at all with as much work. I was going to say, <laughs> okay, so I will not throw QA into the bus for, for Cyberpunk. We will throw the management and the, and the, the guy, corporate I mean, under the, the, the bus. Of, the head of CDPR who made that video, throw him right under the bus that he tried to throw QA under. 